Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The topic of our discussion is blot. Blot is abbreviation of blast like alignment tool. This tool is used for finding the locally highly conserved most similar region across the length of the genome. Blot is actually uh, you can say there's an improved version of the blast which is uh, basically a basic local alignment and search tool. This blot tool is available in both UCSC genome browser and ensemble genome browser but for the purpose of uh, the example we will use this tool through the UCSC genome browser. So this one is the home page of the UCSC genome browser. You can access this blot database or blot tool through either the most popular resources. Here you can find the most popular resources blot or the other way around you can also access blot tool via this. Uh, tool menu bar so you need to uh, <clears throat> just scroll on the tool and then click on this blot so here this one is the query box where you need to uh, paste the sequence the query sequence the sequence of <clears throat> the sequence under investigation in this uh, <clears throat> parameter page you need to select the species uh, or you can say that the, you are looking for the which genome assembly of the genome and leave the other parameter by default uh, so this sequence for example uh, we presume that uh, we don't know about this sequence that this sequence belongs to which gene and uh, this particular gene is present on which chromosome so for that purpose we will do uh, the local sequence alignment we need to copy this sequence and paste it here in the query box and just click on I am feeling lucky so here we go <coughs> on the result page of the blot so primarily uh, you can confirm that this QD sequence that you just pasted in the QD box of the blot uh, tool it belongs to GUCY2D you can see here this GUCY2D gene is actually present in chromosome 17 physically it is located here on the short arm of chromosome 17 on band 13.1 uh, <clears throat> the sequence that you just pasted in the query box of the blot is graphically represented by your sequence and you can see that uh, it is represented by a solid black color line it's a multi-purpose tool on one hand uh, it determines that uh, your query sequence belongs to which gene and that particular gene is present on which chromosome on the other hand the same tool is also used for the sequence alignment to find the mutation so <clears throat> how you can determine that uh, the your query sequence is completely matched with the with the reference sequence or not uh, you just need to look at closely uh, look at this solid black color line uh, if you find a certain color line within this solid black color line it means or it shows that there is some variation within your sequence when it is aligned with the reference sequence in case of uh, <coughs> substitution you will find red color line in case of uh, insertion you will find a brown color line while in case of any uh, deletion you will see a gap uh, within your uh, your sequence uh, so now for the sake of practice say for example if we introduce certain variations substitution insertion and deletion within this QD sequence and let's try and how it works <clears throat> just paste the sequence and click on I'm feeling lucky so here you can see that uh, <clears throat> the region where we substituted one nucleotide with the other one you can see that this substitution is represented by this red color line uh, <clears throat> the region where we inserted few nucleotide is represented by a brown color line 
and the region where we deleted few nucleotides is represented by a short gap so <clears throat> if you further want to uh, look that this variation is of what kind then you you need to zoom this region and for zooming you need to press this shift button and just select and drag and click on zoom in so here you can see that the substitution is t in the reference sequence c